Well, hello there. It's Kevin Dalton here, local historian here in Dublin. I'm just here on Bushes Quay, Dublin, on the 4th of July, 2022. Remember the 100 year anniversary of the start of the Irish Civil War, 28th of June, 1922. The Civil War was due to the fallout over the Anglo-Irish Treaty. This treaty that followed the Irish War of Independence. Instead of getting the Republic like the people fought for, the Irish fought for, be a Dominion state under the real British monarch. The Irish had to swear an oath of allegiance to the King. They were the two main issues of the Anglo-Irish Treaty. This caused a lot of issues over the following months. This is in December 1921. Over the following months, there'd be a fallout of the Civil War. The building in front of me, the Four Courts, right there, was a building that the rebels occupied, or they called them the rebels, the Republican forces, Raymond de Valera's side. It was Oscar, sorry, not Oscar Trainer. It was Liam Mellows and Rory O'Connor who occupied that building in April 1922. Now on the 28th, sorry, the 22nd of June 1922, Henry Wilson, who was actually a Longford man, was assassinated by two members of the London IRA. Funny enough, and ironically enough, the two members who assassinated Henry Wilson were actually veterans of the First World War, and he was just coming back from a commemoration to take them to people who died in World War One. And this put the national government of Ireland, particularly Michael Collins and Arthur Griffith, under intense pressure to end the situation. And the four courts to remove the garrison. Winston Churchill said, and I quote, If the garrison is not removed from the four courts, I will come to Dublin and do the job myself. General McCready, who was in charge of the British forces at the end of the Irish War of Independence, was even there and was under pressure himself to take action on the garrison in the four courts. This resulted in a Free State General getting captured as well as a Republican general getting captured as well. In addition to this, the Republicans had multiple rounds of ammunition, rifles, two Lewis machine guns, Thompson submachine guns, as well as an armoured vehicle captured by the Free State Army that they called the Mutineer. It was on the 28th of June, 1922. It's right here. It's right here in Usher's Key. Where the Irish forces had their artillery units, the 18 pounders, two 18 pounders. The men were so inexperienced when they opened fire that, according to the Green Flag by Robert Key, a history of Irish nationalism, some rounds went into the River Liffey or hit the banks of the River Liffey, may I say. It was at 3 40 a.m. where the Irish forces gave one last demand to the Republican forces to surrender, which went unanswered. And therefore, right behind me, is where the artillery units were. 20 minutes later, or 20 minutes later in a bit, 4 a.m. around that time, they began to shell the Four Courts building. I believe it was on the 5th of July that the Republican forces finally surrendered. On the last day of the bombardment, the Republican force sabotaged the armoured vehicle that they had the mutineer, and a large out of control fire erupted in the Four Courts building, which led to the destruction of much Irish historical records in the archives building, irreplaceable documents. Two of the leaders in the Four Courts garrison, Liam Mellows and Rory O'Connor, were executed by the Free State on the 8th of December 1922. They'd been assassinated in retaliation, sorry, not assassinated, executed in retaliation for the execution of Sean Hales in Dublin by the IRA. This is it now, lads. This is where it all began. Not sure how much of this you can see because I can't turn the camera around. Yep, yeah, this is seeing Michael Collins. 
This building was actually occupied by the Republican forces in 1916. You can see on the road behind me that British Hussars or Lancers attempted to charge O'Connell Street just further down the street. But they were beaten back by the Republican forces occupying the four courts. That's where it was. That's where the artillery units were when they fired. All these trees were gone at the time. There was even a tram line just in this road here behind me. There you go. This is where it all began. I'm actually I'm not sure if you can see it. Actually, look at the view over here. I'm not sure if. Ah, it's backwards, of course it is. Four Courts 1922 commemoration, photographic exhibition, Four Courts Round Hall from 24th June, admission free. Download the free app, Four Courts 100, a virtual history tour from mid June. Hashtag Four Courts 100. Some flowers here. Clapper Historical Society, 28th of June 1922. Remembering all who fell in the Irish Civil War. The was cemented and the Republic was lost. Yep. So there you have the folks. That's where it all began. And to those who served in the Civil War, the War of Independence, all the independence movements, and those thereafter, thank you for your service. Kevin out. Peace. Or peace.